Hey, I haven't vlogged in so long and I'm about to record a couple of self-tape auditions, but I just wanted to touch base with you. Uh, I have been pretty busy. I booked a few things and uh, went camping and of course the, the month of July took a beating on me because I was doing self-tapes every day, sometimes more than one. And so yeah, I definitely want to update you guys with how I have been getting so many casting calls um, and self-tape auditions. So I will share with you my tracker, my audition tracker, but right now I need to film these auditions and send them in. Hi, my name is Belgica and I'm an actress based out of LA and San Francisco. And in the last three months, I did 73 auditions although in july um 32 31 of those 31 of those were for the challenge i made for myself of filming a self-tape audition every day but still in august i had 27 so i wanted to share with you guys all of my auditions what websites i use to self-submit and also where else i have been getting auditions uh, i usually do this every first saturday of the month the last couple of months have been a little bit crazy i haven't been vlogging as much but i like to vlog throughout the week and then post on saturday um you know just how what i've been doing what auditions i have been doing and um anything that's really going on in my life acting related. So today I'm gonna to break down the auditions that I got in June, July, and August, because not every month is this busy and even not every year is this busy as far as self tapes. This year already I've done more auditions already than any other year. In 2018, I believe, is the last time that I really logged every single audition. And I wanna say it was like in the 80s. And at the end of the video, I'm going to give away the final 53 inch paper backdrop from Savage. I told you guys this a few months ago that every first Saturday of the month, I would be giving away a 53 inch paper backdrop, which is just like the one I have behind me. Um, I use these for my self tape auditions and obviously for my YouTube videos too. This is not sponsored at all. I'll tell you guys about how to win it at the end of the video, but let's get started with June. So June, I only had nine auditions, nine self tapes. None of, I have not auditioned in person since 2019. 2020, absolutely not. I did not audition in uh, person. 2021, still have not auditioned in person. So in June, I got nine self tapes. Like I said, one of them was for my agent and it was a voiceover audition. So I just recorded it here at home in my closet. One of them was from Aura Casting and that was just a self submission. Seven of the auditions were from Casting Networks. So I submit for Casting Networks in both LA and San Francisco. And I do have a tab for that on my spreadsheet where uh, I you know put all of my information so I can keep track of everything and uh, all of them but one was commercials and then that other one was an industrial and if you haven't used casting networks it is very 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 commercial heavy both in San Francisco and LA I see a lot of commercial postings um, in LA I definitely see a lot of music videos which I I don't self-submit usually to music videos in LA I'm just not interested and um, also a lot of background you can find on casting networks and that's what in my experience in july i only kept track of three auditions and they were all from my agency mdt in san francisco so those were all san francisco auditions i did start self-submitting a lot more towards the end of july but because i was doing my self-tape challenge um, I was just not self-submitting as much and not keeping track of the ones that I was self-submitting for, you know, and auditioning for. Because I do remember that towards the end of July, I was doing a bunch of auditions one day and some of them were from self-submissions and some of them for, were for my agents. And I actually booked one of the auditions that my agency sent me and it's not out yet, but once it's out, I'll share it with you guys. But I was really excited to book that one because it's with a company that I really, really like and it was really fun to film it. I, I already filmed it but we are going to do a quick reshoot coming up soon. So I'll see if I can vlog while I'm there or at least before and after. In July, I did 37 auditions with the 31 being for my YouTube channel, three being for um, MDT, and then kind of sorta didn't really remember what the other ones were, but I know there were some more. Now, August, August was very, very busy. I had 27 auditions and 12 of them were really close together, as you can see here on my spreadsheet. And another thing I noticed is that the casting office, Kristen Beck Casting, has been 
asking me for a lot of self tapes. So hopefully soon I can book something with them. I would be very excited to um, finally book something with them because I remember even when I used to do in-person auditions, I would go to their casting office all of the time and um, it was always a great experience. And in August, I booked my first reality show. And again, I will share that with you guys once it comes out. It's nothing big. It's just one episode. And of course, just like with everything else, I don't know if they're gonna use anything that I was in, but once it comes out, I'll definitely grab a clip and show it during one of my vlogs and I can, you know, watch it with you guys. I also booked one background job, one film from home job, and then one commercial job. Unfortunately, the commercial job, there was a sickness in the production team and they had to reschedule it and then they rescheduled it to a date where I was going to be camping. But that was a self-submission through Casting Networks. In August, my agency in San Francisco, MDT, sent me nine self-tape requests and one of those were through Aura Casting. So Aura, you can submit to and you, know, you just sign up and they can can send you auditions and also if you have an agent um, your agent can be in charge of handling the the ones that are a little bit bigger usually agencies tend to do like five hundred dollars or more because they do usually take ten to twenty percent if it's a lower you know budget production or you're going to be paid a lot less and it's really not worth it for them to invest all of that time into it if they're just going to get like five dollars you know they're not going to do that so in my experience for mdt i know they said they would do 500 and above so um aura sends you anything that's maybe a little bit less or people that are under rep uh, not represented or um, even background work the other 18 of the self tapes i did were through um casting networks and some of them were just they had a script online and they said anybody who fits this go ahead and submit a self tape and then some of them were media requests so i do have it on my spreadsheet if it was a media request i put that so that i know i didn't just submit without them actually even knowing you know who i was and them wanting me to submit so a lot of them were media requests where they were hey you submitted to this now we would like you to send in a self tape and then some of them they just put a script and they're like anybody who wants to send in a self tape send it and those i usually only do if i can do it within the first day or two because i know a lot of people are going to be submitting so i want to make sure i'm one of the first ones so that they can actually see my self tape because i just don't know how many self tapes they are getting because most of the ones where they just put a script and they're like send it over are in la and i know la casting is a lot more busy than sf casting all four of the jobs that i booked in august i booked through casting networks and i booked myself so not through my agency and in general in the last few months on instagram i definitely find out about a lot of casting calls open casting calls and i will share them um when i can on my instagram or through the cast and project instagram that i have talked about in the past a few times um, my agency of course sends me a lot of self tapes usually for commercials industrials and voiceover because they do represent me across the board and uh, i have also been submitting to actors access both in la and san francisco of course i submit to la and san francisco anytime i can and then i also auditioned for the netflix reality so if you don't know netflix is having a huge open casting call for their reality shows and i did end up sending in a video and you can send in a video too i did a short about it and a video about it but um you can watch that i'll link it right here in case you're interested in maybe being in a reality show i think reality shows are really fun i love like cooking shows um i recently watched love is blind that show was really good too even though i was very angry during the marriage parts anyway um, and then of course, like I mentioned, Aura, I also submit through Aura whenever they have an opportunity. And for them, I have usually seen um, a lot of San Francisco based auditions, but when you sign up for it, it does say that it's basically all of California. In the last three months, I have been auditioning a lot for voiceover, a lot for commercial, and then quite a bit film at home. Although I don't know if I want to continue doing the film at home. I just I don't know i don't really like the style maybe in the future once i really process it i'll make a video about it but for now i'm just i don't know i'm not feeling it right now but we'll see we'll see if things change and i definitely want to audition more for scripted things movies tv shows um web series so i'm going to keep an eye out for that and i'm going to continue to be submitting on actors access and of course i am seeking representation in la and i know once i get representation like theatrical representation in la i will be able to audition more for those types of things but um those are all of my auditions for this month or 
this recap of the last three months because I haven't. I'll make sure to do another one the first Saturday of October. Um, but I wanted to tell you about the giveaway. So as I mentioned, I am giving away a 53 inch paper backdrop, which is just like this one that I have behind me, the red one. So if you want to win a 53 inch paper backdrop from Savage Universal, because they're the ones that are giving us these for free. So uh, I mentioned in one of my videos that I wanted to do a giveaway and they're like, sure, let's do it. So this is the third one um, that I'm giving away during my first Saturday of the month and so this is the last one for now we'll see if in the future we can do it again but if you would like to win make sure you comment on this video by September 10th 1159 PST and this is only open for people in the US and no international territories again just because they are the one sending it Savage Universal is nice enough to give us these so we have to follow their rules like this video make sure you subscribe to me and leave me a comment tell me what you would use this backdrop for if it would be for photos youtube videos um your self tapes whatever it is and what color you would be interested in i have made a few videos on like the different colors that i've used i've experimented with them um and i'm just obsessed with like trying new colors so i think i'm gonna get some new ones soon thank you so much for watching and at the end of every video i feature another channel this is today's feature if you would like to be featured on my next video make sure you're subscribed like this video and leave me a comment.